Hey peeps, it's Alicia. So I have uh, decided that I'm going to break into the Dragoon Beauty palette. Um, I did watch a video today and it was from a person called Pop Lux. It looks like they posted the video about a year ago. Um, and the title of the video is I'm Okay No Bullshit Dragoon Beauty. And they tried, it looks like the, I believe it's the volume three palette. And they were basically saying, um, if you have X, Y, Z, A, B, C, other palettes that you're going to be able to emulate the look that they did in the video. So they thought the quality was amazing, but they didn't think it was worth the investment. So we are going to be using the other palette that I bought and I'm just going to open this one up to make sure that I'm correct. Yes. So the volume three is the one that they used in the video and they said the quality was exceptional. The, the blendability was awesome. The payoff was great. They were just having a wonderful time in their video. Um, but today we're going to be using the volume two palette. Um, so this is one of the other discounted palettes that we got at TJ Maxx the other day for $7. So we are going to be using this one today. This one has some really gorgeous colors in it, actually. It's got a really beautiful matte peach. It's got a brown, this fabulous blue, this turquoise, and I absolutely am obsessed with this color as well. So we're going to try to use all of the colors today and see what we can come up with um, for our look. Okay, I look absolutely ridiculous, but that's fine. Um, I put on my eyeshadow primer, which I always use the Gerard Cosmetics um, eyeshadow primer. So I put that on my lid under eye and I also use my Born This Way powder under my eyes to catch any fallout to kind of try to brush that away when I am done. So I'm gonna start with the lightest color called Ditzy which is a matte peach. I would definitely call that a peach. What's interesting about this palette is there's literally only that, wait, not helpful. There's only that one super light color that if you were going to just use this palette um, would work for a highlight and actually it's interesting because it's actually picking up quite a bit of color. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop that on the lid. I'm using a MAC, I believe it is a 239 brush. The number is pretty much wiped away because of how much I use it. And I'm leaving just a little bit on the bottom open with my skin showing through for the darker shades. Um, what's interesting is there's this is actually quite a heavy, um, I should say, quite a pigmented eyeshadow, which is really nice and it's actually very pretty. So <laughs> that's on the lid. I also forgot I wanted to try this Aspen palette from BH Cosmetics. This is the one I showed in my last video. It's a highlighting palette and it has six absolutely gorgeous highlight shades. So since we don't really have any light colors in this Dragoon Beauty palette, I'm going to use some of the highlight colors from the BH Cosmetics palette that we also got at TJ Maxx that was $6. I'm going to use the next color which is called Baked Baddie and I'm going to use my number 8 BH Cosmetics brush and I'm going to use that as my crease color. Well, that actually has some pretty decent color payoff. Wow, holy Hannah's. But I like it. I like how dark it is, honestly. I like that it's really dark. Because it's really dark, but it's also super blendable. So it's not like harsh and you put it on and then you can't blend it. Um, sometimes with like cheaper lines, uh, cheaper cosmetics lines, you put the eyeshadow on and it just like doesn't blend. Like the color goes down or it doesn't even go down at all. So this is nice because it's really pigmented but also blends really nicely. And now that I put the brown in there, some of the peach kind of got wiped away. So I'm going to add the peach back in. I'm really excited to try the green too. The green's really, really pretty. 
So I'm just going to add it back in to kind of clean up that line. See how this is kind of like caca <laughs> and not clean? So I just went back in with the purple to kind of clean it up a little bit. And the green, I have no idea where I'm going to use that. Um, Let's grab a smaller, ah, oh, that's what I'll do. So the green has like a highlight, like a little tiny, itty bitty bit of shine to it. So I'm gonna use that, I know it's crazy. I'm gonna use it in the middle of my eyelid where the, where I left that naked bit near my lash line. This is such a random, random eye look. I just don't know how else to use all the colors. Oh my gosh, that's really pretty. That's really, really pretty. So even if I just did like a little bit on the bottom like that with the peach, it actually looks really, really pretty. So I'm, I actually like this eye better than this one, but I'm just going to go ahead and make this one the same so, that, so it doesn't look weird, even though it probably already does. <laughs> okay really pretty. I feel like the blue, the Sailor Dragoon, so the green we just used was called Aquarius, and the Sailor Dragoon, I feel like this blue would look so pretty by itself, just like on the lid. So I'm just going to use a little bit in the outer corner with a super small random liner brush from Lorella, and I like these Lorella brushes, but they don't have any numbers on them, so I never know like what I'm using. So that's why I just call it like a random liner brush. So it's interesting because the blue actually, I feel like would have a better color payoff if it was on top of like a creamy eyeliner or something. It's interesting because like you saw how all the colors came out initially, right? But now they're kind of like wishy-washy, which is weird. Just kind of trying to clean up my mess a little bit here with the blue, because the blue is getting out of control. And of course, that kind of made it worse, but that's okay. We'll go back in with a wipe at some point and just wipe that up. Okay, so the very last color in the palette is Hex Girl. I feel like Hex Girl and Sailor Dragoon, so the blue and the black, would look super gorgeous together. Like if you did that as a lid and then you did the Hex Girl as a liner. And once again, I feel like this color from Hex, this color Hex Girl reminds me of a color from MAC called Sketch. And it was a, um, it's not even coming out, black with cranberry glitter fleck and this is not even coming off it's not even like literally barely barely coming on so I'm gonna put on my um uh bobby dee -de 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 my black eyeliner and see if maybe that helps this is the waterproof eyeliner that I got from um Lash Me last month, and it's from Care of Beauty, and I absolutely love it. I've been using it, like, every day. And I wore it to my friend's wedding. And I was crying, not intentionally. There was just wind blowing in my eyes. And, um, it stayed on. The only issue I had a little bit was my mascara, and I didn't even use waterproof mascara. I used Great Lash from Maybelline because it's awesome and um, just a little tissue and not too bad so okay so with the eyeliner it came out a little bit more you can definitely see it a lot better but on its own it's pretty weak um, so I would recommend if you're gonna do this as like a liner color if you're not gonna use it as a crease color um, to put it on top of an eyeliner because you're gonna get more color payoff because otherwise it's like not even showing up which is useless useless because then you can't even see the color so what's the f point you know what I mean 
The only thing too with this is like I'm trying to pick up the color and I'm just like loading my brush and then it's getting all under my eyes and on the palette like in the pan it's all like I don't want to tilt it towards the camera because it'll make a mess but I don't know if you can see that it's like all chump chunked up so I'm just gonna like throw that tap that off into the trash and I'm gonna clean up my face and then I'm gonna come back to you with the highlight so I just wanted to show you something so I just cleaned up under my eyes don't look at this part all of that underneath is what was under my eyes this is just from the brush so this part is just from me wiping the brush so like like I said it barely picked up any color and then this is all the stuff that was under my eyes and actually I think I can get a little more so I'm gonna just go in and I'm gonna fix my concealer here so for my concealer I'm using the Lancome Ivory Warm all over concealer the Tanti doll it's called I don't know if you're if I'm saying it right Tanti doll t-e-i-n-t-e doll i-d-o-l-e ultra wear so I just put that on because I wanted a little bit um, stronger coverage because of the fallout even though I cleaned it with the wipe it just looked you know not good <laughs> So I'm just trying to kind of brighten up my eyes so I don't look like I got into a fight with my hair dryer. Okay. I actually really like this concealer and I've used the foundation too and it's awesome. It is expensive. I think it's like, it's probably gone up now, but it used to be $56 a bottle, which is insane. The concealer is more cost effective, it's like 30 something. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my foundation on. I like to use the Face and Body from MAC and I'm using the color N2. It is a water-based foundation um, and it's also transfer and water resistant. If you haven't used this product, I would highly recommend it. It's awesome, it's really good for sensitive skin um, it's also buildable, so what I like about it is it's really sheer. Um, it's hard to explain, like it's sh it's a nice texture, it's like sheer but then you can build it, you can literally build it. Um, and I like it because it kind of just pulls together my concealer um, without adding like a ton of extra makeup. <laughs> okay. That's the foundation, and then do I want to do lashes today? I don't really want to do lashes because they're a pain in the butt. So I'm just going to grab my Great Lash Mascara. I use the Great Lash Big Mascara. I don't know if you've tried this before, but I really, really like it. It's got a super fat brush, just like the um, Christian Dior brush. And it's not going to focus. <laughs> Come in. Okay, anyways, it's got a super fat brush like the Dior uh, product, but it's obviously not Dior, so it's not super expensive. Let's go ahead and I'm going to seal everything up now before I do my blusher and my highlighter, which I'm going to use. So hopefully that will brighten things up as well. Um, quite honestly, um, I mean, just looking at the eyeshadow, it's pretty boring, I'm not going to lie. I know that sounds rude. Um, which is interesting because when you look at the palette, you're like, wow, look at those colors. They're so vibrant and alive. But then when I put it on, it looks dead. And probably because the, a lot of these tones are very similar to my complexion, so they kind of just like blend in. Um, the blendability is amazing. The color payoff at first seems like it's awesome, but then when you wear it for a little bit, it's like, and it hasn't even been that long. What's it been, like 10 minutes? So, um, I agree with the guy that I watched this morning, um, Pop Lux. 
I agree, it's probably not worth, I mean, yeah, it was seven bucks. So if you don't have a palette and you want something that's easy to blend, or just want, like, maybe you normally do neutrals and you just want, like, neutral with, like, a little bit more pop, then yeah, sure, go for it. It's not expensive. Um, but, like, if you have a million palettes like me, then it's, you know. Okay. It's not a bad palette. It's just not as vibrant as I thought it was going to be. Boring Face Blush in Pink from Mellow Cosmetics. Just a little bit on the cheeks. So all we have left is lips, mascara, highlight. I already did my brows before this video because I can't deal with no brows because mine are super patchy. And I've already used this gloss in other videos. This is the Jeffree Star I'm the Boss, the gloss. I love it. It's so pretty. And it feels so good. And it smells good. And it pretty much stays on. I mean... I like that it's not like super sticky though. That's one of my favorite things about it. Okay, before I put my mascara on, I'm going to do my little highlight here. So I need to grab a clean brush. And I'm just going to use a little 246 from Luxie. Um, they're calling it a precision crease brush. brush. Sure. Um, we have... Ooh, keep doing that. We have all these different colors to choose from. Um, since I want to brighten up, and let's be real, I always use white because I'm a hoe, and I love to have just craziness under the eyebrow. Oh, yeah. Yes. I love it. I love it. So that's my white because I'm a hoe, and I need to have it. I need it. See that? Yes. And then if I turn this way, it's like, uh, yes. Uh, yes. Sad. Happy. All right. <laughs> Um, really, really pretty. Let's do, 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 let's do, we're going to do, we're going to do the white on the other one so I don't look like a freak. Um, so we're going to do the same color and we're going to put some in our brows because why not? <sighs> Get out of here. Get out of here with that. Okay. Some white in there. It's really pretty. I love BH Cosmetics. They make such good makeup and it's such so fairly priced. Even if you buy it full price, like I always get mine at um, TJ Maxx, but literally like so fair on their website. I bought from their website too. Okay, we have the color Snow Angel, which is a really gorgeous blue. So I'm just going to pop some of that on the lid using the other side of the brush. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh, that is so, 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 so pretty. I love it. Just like a little bit on the lid. And do the other one. So I basically got rid of all the peach essentially from the um, Dragoon Beauty palette. This, this may potentially crease throughout the day. Hopefully I won't put too much that it will actually crease. Usually their stuff is pretty good. Um, and then, last but not least, we do have these other colors on the bottom. So we have Iced Out, Frostbite, and Chill Zone. Iced Out, Frostbite, and Chill Zone. And I really want to use the pink, even though I know it's super strong. So I'm just going to use my foundation brush that I already used for my makeup. And I'm just going to... Because I want to see what it looks like. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. That's so cute. Just a little bit. Okay. And then let's use... Let's use Iced Out on the tops of the cheeks. Oh, that's so cool. That looks awesome. That looks so good. That's so pretty. It's so subtle. I love this, like, sheen on it, too. It's, like, the perfect holographic pinky peach and I'm glad I married it up with the pink blusher so that's the Aspen palette from BH Cosmetics highlight palette amazing amazing and all we have to do is throw our mascara on and then we are done 
So I actually am more obsessed with the Aspen Highlight Palette than I am the eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette from Dragoon Beauty, which is the Volume 2, um, is very pretty. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like the packaging is more impactful and fun than the application of the actual colors. So this will probably get listed on my store only because I do have, as you, a lot of you probably do, a million palettes. And just like my attraction to sparkly things, I also get attracted to really fun, bright packaging. So I was like, oh my gosh, I have to try that. I am happy I tried it. It's super blendable. Um, however, it j did seem that the color kind of faded rather quickly. Um, it didn't have really enough pop for me. So I ended up adding back in some of the highlight colors that we used um, from the Aspen BH Cosmetics palette. However, really great value. We paid $7 for the eyeshadow palette. So if you're looking for a bump up from some neutral colors, it's definitely a good choice for you and it blends really nicely. Um, and that is the video for today. I am going to be having a very special video coming up. I'm so excited to share with you all. Um, one of my client's friend's father unfortunately passed away. Um, and when she was cleaning the house, she found a box of Barbies. And they are not 90s, 80s, 70s Barbies. They are much older than that. And some of them are some of the first few that Mattel ever made. So I'm going to be doing, I'm actually going to be getting those today. And I, when I um, get them, which he's supposed to bring them today unless he forgot again, um, I will be doing an unboxing of that. And I'm really excited to share that whole process with you all. I'm going to be showing you how I inspect the dolls and what I kind of assess them, um, how I assess them and that kind of thing, kind of like what I've done in some of my other videos. But this one's going to be more exciting because you're going to get to see history. You're going to get to see dolls that they don't make anymore and they don't make them like that anymore so it's pretty cool and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and try to be kind to each other I know it's hard but try anyways and subscribe if you want to and leave any comments below please let me know what do you think about the Dragoon Beauty palette did you try the volume 2 did you try the volume 3 did you get the volume 1 I couldn't find it um what did you think? Do you think it's worth the money? Um, what was your favorite thing about it? What didn't you like about it? Definitely let me know and I hope you have a great one.